Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Everybody, this is the digital asset investor, and there was a couple of things, or well, really one piece of news that I just had to talk about, uh, and that is that, uh, I, and I want to give some credit here, Bon Bon Crip XRP at B O N C R Y P, very active uh, community member in the XRP community. Give them a follow if you haven't already. Um, putting out all kinds of good information, and and they sent me. Uh, this uh, piece of news. I had seen this piece of news, but this was the first person to send me this news, and so I like to, I like to always give give credit to people and help them get some followers and get some momentum because all of us that are in this, all of us that are in the XRP and digital assets as a whole, we're all in this game together, and I, I like to see people getting active. I like it when you send me things and make me aware of things that you know would make me tick because, and I'll give you credit in a second when you do, um, if I cover it because, um, I want to, I want to encourage everybody to be out there and getting excited about this. Um, so anyway, Von Krip XRP sent me this and, um, it's all kind of in different places in the news right now. The international internet intercontinental exchanges ice, which is the New York stock exchanges parent company, um, the upcoming crypt, crypto trading platform back will officially launch in December on December 12th. Well, uh, you know, up until now, they had said somewhere around November, they pushed it out a little bit, but now we, this is the first, and, and I want to make, I want to stress this. This is the first official date that we've been given that the traditional financial companies are officially getting into cryptocurrency. And so technically, I guess, um, December the 12th will be the birth in the traditional finance world. It will be the, the, the true birth of cryptocurrency as a digital app or, or cryptocurrencies as a new asset class, digital assets as a new asset class. And that is huge. Now, uh, this is what everybody has a tendency to, um, in this space. When I do an art, uh, when I cover something like this, I immediately start seeing all the comments. Well, but, but they're not going to list XRP. Well, of course they're not. Like I've said before, when Amazon came out as a company, they were selling books. Now they sell anything you can name and some up some things you've never heard of. When, when this is not going to all happen at once. And so people need to have realistic expectations about how this is all going to be rolled out. Just like they're just rolling the first is first. They're going to have a Bitcoin futures product. That's the first product that backed is going to roll out. How on earth could you expect them to roll out everything all at once? And then they would have all kinds of disastrous um, problems in ramping up. So they're going to do it. They're going to do a slow rollout. They're going to start with Bitcoin futures. Who knows? They might list uh, two coins within a few months. Who knows how they'll do it, but they're not going to do it all at once. So don't get freaked out about all that kind of stuff. Um, keep your big boy pants on and be a grown up here. So they're rolling out on December the 12th. That's coming. But what's important is that that is the birth date of digital assets as a new asset class, in my opinion. It's the true birth date. And I'm going to title this video something like that. The birthday of, di of the new asset class. Um, so anyway, that's a huge piece of news right there because now we have a date. Next, I wanted to give someone else some credit. At, uh, at XRP boy, you need to follow him too. He's, he's major involved in the XRP community. I don't know if he's a boy or a man, but he calls himself at XRP boy. Um, so anyway, he says definitely an infographic. Everyone can understand credit to at TB crypto was doing some research and came across it. Thought it'd be a good refresher for the XRP community. And this, these kind of things I love because from day one, I've told you, that the digital asset space parallels um, the internet boom so well. And so what, but what this graphic shows you, and 
Now, I want to tell you, I am not, I am not anti-Bitcoin. Never, I never want anybody to get th that impression. I believe that Bitcoin. I believe the top ten or fifteen in the in the shorter to mid-term run. I believe the top ten or fifteen uh, crypto current digital assets are going to all go crazy in the in the short to mid run. And when I say that, I'm talking anywhere from now to uh, the next couple of years. In the next five years, XRP comes out on top. I mean, XRP will benefit in that first one month to two years like crazy too. But in the next five years, I see XRP as the Google. And that's what this illustrates. What they're showing you here is this up top is the internet. And I'm going to read these. It's small print. You might not be able to see it well. But on the top up here, they're comparing Alta Vista and Google. But some of you may not even remember Alta Vista, but I do. It, was, it came out before Google in 1995. And what this says right in here, it says, the first in the market, this is Alta Vista, first in the market, no management team, no innovation, do not adapt to the market, grab first wave attention, which they did. Then along comes Google in 1998. And right here it says, innovative, focus on technology, top of the line management team, well backed financially, solve everyday problems. And then it shows you in 2017, and it says about Alta Vista, it says most of you don't even remember it. Complete fail, bought by Yahoo, but it, I mean, it basically is not even in existence anymore. Google, on the other hand, 19,000 employees, annual revenues, $90 billion, share over $1,000, share value over $1,000. Um, first daily web, I can't read, this part's cut off, but anyway, you get the picture. Now, come down to Bitcoin. They say this is in 2009, Bitcoin comes out first in the market, unknown management, no innovation, do not adapt to the market, grab first wave attention. 2012, Ripple comes out, innovative, innovative, focus on technology, top of the line management team, well backed financially, solve everyday problems. And then here it says, in two, what, what do you expect in the, in the future, in other words? That's kind of been my whole point all along. All along, I love Bitcoin. I love what Bitcoin represents. Bitcoin represents freedom, in my opinion. I believe that this is the that Bitcoin went through the door first, and I really appreciate whoever Satoshi Nakamoto is. I have complete respect. I think Bitcoin, because of that first mover, is going to go places. But in the in the oh, past the mid haul. In the long run, I think XRP and Ripple are going to be massive. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Tell your friends and family that the digital asset investor is here. And I have zero doubt. And I'm going to Liechtenstein. Thanks for listening.